married couples and could not solve their problems. The major problem I heard from the wives was, he doesn't love me. Wives are made to love, want to love, and expect love. Many husbands fail to deliver. But as I kept studying scripture and counseling couples, I finally saw the other half of the equation. Husbands weren't saying it much, but they were thinking, she doesn't respect me. Husbands are made to be respected, want respect, and expect respect. Many wives fail to deliver. The result is that five out of ten marriages land in divorce, and that includes the evangelical Christians. As I wrestled with the problem, I finally saw a connection. Without love for him, she reacts without respect. Without respect from her, he reacts without love. And around and around it goes. It's called the crazy cycle, marital craziness that has thousands of couples in the grip. Oh, thank you for sharing that with so us. That's really and what, what is the name of that? The is Love and Respect. Love and Respect. This is well, the book on which the uh, seminars is oh. based. We'd like to share with you now, a Pastor Ted brought some uh, film for you to see about this seminar. And so sit back, my friends, relax, and be blessed with this wonderful message that Pastor Ted has brought with him. Do you feel your husband understands what you're trying to say? Do you feel your wife expects you to fully understand everything she's feeling? That women love to see people who are close and face to face. In fact, this one couple, they'd been married 30 years. They went to the restaurant. They saw this couple, she did, over in the corner. She knew they'd been married for many years and they were in the same booth together. He had his arm around her. Women gravitate, it's like a magnet. They see couples like that. She's just fixated on this couple. He's got his arm around her. He's whispering, sweet nothing. She's laughing. He's laughing. They're face to face. She is just enthralled with this. She says to her husband, Look at that couple over there. He's eating. What? That couple over there. Yeah, what about him? Well, look, look at how he's got his arm around her and he's talking to her face to face and close to close. Yeah? Well, why don't you ever do that? Look, I don't even know that woman. Come to the Love and Respect Marriage Conference. We'll help your husband understand your femininity. We'll help your wife understand your masculinity. We have many serious moments, but there is a lot of fun, too. Male and female communication is fun. What do we mean by what we say? She fixes an evening meal, and afterwards she says, That's the worst meal I've ever made! He goes, No, it's not, honey. Now, where's that gonna go? <laughs> what are you saying? Are you saying I've made thousands of worse meals than that? Okay, mama's boy. <laughs> Just go move in with your mother for a couple of weeks and let her feed your fat face. <laughs> but what if he was full of goodwill? What if he was full of goodwill? What if he meant by what he said is, no, you haven't, huh? you, you never made a bad meal. You see how we get into these tensions and conflicts and troubles? Irritations, fights, arguments. Bam, it can happen just that quick. What did you mean by what you said? Then again, maybe he'd been made, making some snide remarks over the last several weeks about her cooking. So when she said, that's the worst meal I've ever made. <laughs> no, it's not, honey. <laughs> Same words. Same words. But different tone. Come to the Love and Respect Marriage Conference, where you will learn what your spouse really means by what they say. Oh, thank you, Pastor Ted. That was great. <laughs> we've enjoyed, we've enjoyed it so much, you know. And um, God is good. I know this seminar is going to bless people as they come and. Um, you know, just what you read from that book was a blessing. It's true. Men and women need different things. Yes. And part of the love that a woman can show for her husband is to respect him, to honor him. He is the head of the household. Yeah. You know, the, uh, we think of the umbrella. Absolutely. God Almighty and then man, the wife, the children. And um, that's truly going to be a blessing. It's a covering. It's a covering. And, and it's safe. And that's God's plan. You know, so a woman will feel safe. I say to people all the time that, for a woman to understand that the